Welcome back to Arms of Art. Thank you. I feel like I've been away so long. I, uh, I've missed your strangely svelte physique and glorious ginger bushy beard. I feel truly welcome back in the arms of Argus. Anyway, shall we go kill something with this big sword we purchased? <laughs> I forget that's how doors work in this game. <laughs> you just will yourself to be on the other side of them. <laughs> you don't actually open them. There's no... Yeah, alright, alright, fine, fuck you. Uh, where was the temple? That's what we were looking for today, was the temple. I don't remember whereabouts it is. I'm thinking maybe this way, because we've not been this way yet. Yeah, this looks like... There's no guards here to tell me I can't go through here, so that looks promising. There was uh, something down here as well. <laughs> I didn't mean rats. Rats weren't what I was expecting. I will happily murder them, though. That's what I'm here for. In here, I think... I seem to recall a certain uh, boss that messed me up real good. But I guess we'll get to that later. That's uh, that's an issue for future Joe to deal with. Right now, all I have to do is find my way to the temple. Because I think we have to take some steps to get out of this town. We literally just fought our way through a sewer to get in here. But now we kind of want to get out again. It's, uh, it's not as great as it was cracked up to be, you know. Uh, some people could call it some sort of uh, satire for... For, for modern life and immigration, you know? <laughs> you, you, you swim on a fucking inflatable dinghy across the Mediterranean to get into, into Europe and what awaits you on the other side? Fucking Europeans, that's what. <laughs> uh, what's this place? What's this building? It looks pretty cool. It's pretty imposing. Hi. The apothecary, hey? I am Lady Chana. Welcome to the apothecary. Um, what's an apothecary? Here at the apothecary, you may potions and elixirs. Well, that's expected. Uh, herbs and powders, nether catals. Yeah, okay. Well, it's all it's all, all very interesting stuff, but not really my bag, unfortunately. I'm mostly more about inserting large pieces of metal into whatever orifice is currently available. So, um, I'll leave you to your business. I'll fight these this random roving band of snakes in the town center. Um. Why are they level 4? These snakes are tougher than, like, men with daggers. <laughs> These are some angry fucking snakes. Oh shit, I'm poisoned. Oh, that is not good. How bad's poison in this? I too hate vermin in the streets. I'm not quite sure who's saying that. But, I mean... If this is the vermin, like... You can expect maybe some rats. You know? Maybe some rats coming across and yeah okay it's night time perhaps some bats could get disturbed from the rafters or whatever and come swooping down on on someone if they get disorientated but the fuck is this all about what the fuck is this how many times have you been walking down the street and just been accosted by a herd of snakes i can guarantee it doesn't happen often like i i've, I've lived 30 long Long years, and never once have I been mugged by snakes, but uh, this looks familiar. This is where we want to be, I'm sure of it. What? Who's laughing at me now? Is that goblins? There's goblins. Why the fuck are there goblins here? You know, for a place that's literally fucking swarming with guards, they have incredibly bad security. Probably because they don't guard the entrance to the fucking sewers or any old randomer can just wander in. There was an ogre in there. There was an ogre in your sewers. Have, have you uh, never considered maybe keeping an eye on the place? When that sort of shit can go down. I can still hear him. I can still hear goblin noises. What's going on? Okay, I'm coming. Trying not to hit her. I'm not sure I can hit her, but... Probably better safe than sorry, you know? I don't want to accidentally murder a woman. Probably not going to do much for my standing in the town. Oi. Oi. Crink the stink. <laughs> oh, I like that name. That's good. That gave me a chuckle. I like any name that begins with a Q and doesn't continue with a U. What are you doing up there? Oh, that's not where you should go. 
Are you in debt of eternal gratitude for your brave heroism? God damn it, it was some brave heroism. Although I have little to offer in return, please accept a small reward for your noble deed. 200 gold. You're, you're a lady. You're a lady Lariah. How do you... I can't help but feel like you were bullshitting me. I have little to offer. She's a fucking landed fucking woman. Yeah, okay, whatever. I, I was really just trying to loot this, not talk to you, but... Safe travels and good fortune. There's snakes as well. There are snakes as well. I'm never going to be free of these snakes, am I? This is my life now. I'm going to be a fucking pest control. It comes to something when you have to perform pest control with a great sword, I'm telling you. <laughs> Normally, like, uh, some, some powder, maybe a, a small trap or something will do the trick, but I come in swinging. <laughs> I take no prisoners with my pest control. Ugh. I've got an itchy face. I've got, to, got to need to scratch myself up. I think it's probably the poison. Probably the poison doing that to me, I'm not going to lie. What's in here, then? Is this a thing? No? Okay, well. Is this your house? Oh, you're just going to cease to exist. That's fine. I can't help but notice that I am, in fact, still poisoned. I have not got any less poisoned during my time um, fighting off the the hordes. I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to do about this. I think my health isn't regenerating anymore, which is... Welcome to our temple, good hey, hey, can you do anything about poison? Um, Healing? Uh, due to the celestial order is to offer healing for those in need. You're welcome to visit the Altar of Peace downstairs in the temple whenever you are in need. I'm in fucking need right now. Where's the Where's the Altar of Peace? Not there. I need I need. Yeah, thanks. Um, I'm looking for some way of removing the venom which flows through my veins at present. This looks promising. This literal holy glowing shrine. Here we go. Oh, I feel so much better now. Oh. I feel like there's been a weight lifted from my shoulders and out of my veins. Um, anyway, I was here on business, to be honest. To see you again, my brother. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm intrigued because uh, I, I got this summons from Augustus. That was a, a wall of fucking text you just dropped on me, but thanks for the uh, the Augustus Sanctum key. Enter the private sanctum of C. Augustus in Fargrove and speak to him about the purpose. Oh, this is the mini boss thing, isn't it? May the stars guide you well. This, from what I recall. I thought we had to go into the into the catacombs, but maybe that's the next part of this little quest. Because from what I remember, he's all been like beat up and shit, and there's a there's like a, a, a big vampire or something draining his essence when we arrive. I think that is this building just around the corner. So before we go in, I'm probably going to have to do a quick save because historically these things haven't gone great for me. I remember that thing absolutely kicking my ass on uh, my character that. Had, seen and done a lot more than this one to be honest so um, i'm gonna have to make sure i'm prepared going in i've got 59 healing potions which is probably probably gonna make life a little bit easier for me but oh okay you still hit me i was kind of hoping this wall between you and me would uh yeah i think he's lost track of me now he's just gonna stand there and levitate some things around that's that's a much more sensible approach all right, here we go then. Let's, let's get buffed up. Let's go in. Let's fuck up some shit. I have the power. Um. Um. Uh, let me just regroup. I need to reconsider this. <laughs> Maybe that room wasn't uh, going quite as well as I thought. He seemed to be immune to damage. Now, you'll have to bear with me, because uh, I'm old school. But back in my day, people who were immune to damage were rather difficult to kill. Let's spend these points, shall we? Let's uh, keep, keep investing in that two-hand weapon skill. I want to be the mightiest fighter of them all with my plate face. Let me think. Let me think. What does my quest log say on the matter? I have a quest log, right? L? Live with the sword. Enter the private sanctum. Okay. Okay, that's really helpful. Can I, uh... Can I see... 
my previous conversations somehow? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just pressing buttons. Uh, uh, that's just my inventory. I don't think I can. I'm wondering if the priest told me something that I should have paid attention to. Let's go back in. I'll have another look around. I think there might be something in the room I can do to, to make this guy less of a an instant death. What, what, what is going on here? My fucking curse is very confused. Oh, he can shoot me through walls. That's that's super good. Uh, I'll be I'll be right back. I I, I want to do this a bit fresher and without. There we go. My, my dude was turning to face the cursor a minute ago. I don't know what that was all about, but I, I didn't like it. Oh look, I can block. <laughs> Literally just with my forearm. It's fine. It's my left one. I don't need that anyway. I think he's just trying to dab, but the uh, the fucking greatsword's too heavy for him to lift his arm up. <laughs> all right. Enough of, of those shenanigans. There's, there's something in here. There's something in here and we need to deal with it. I, I'm, I definitely can't wound him in any way, can I? Help. Give me some advice. Alright, okay, well, that's cool. See, the Dread Spectre is draining his very life away. I feel like it's it's leeching his life force or something. What am I missing? Anyone got any advice on, on killing uh, killing liches? Killing Dread Spectres? Let's just... I hate to backtrack like this, but I feel like I'm, I'm, um, I'm a few screws short of... a. Uh, comfortable piece of Ikea furniture. I need to go have a, another chat with my brethren at the temple. Hopefully I'm not going to get accosted by snake. Of course I'm going to get accosted by snakes. How foolish of me to think otherwise. You can't go anywhere in this town without one of the roving bands of snakes coming in uh, and, and wrecking your day. I like the idea that, that someone could come new to this town and be like, Hey, is, is there anything I need to watch out for around here? Is there, are there any dangers? And, uh, you know, the guy they're talking to is all like, Well, there's a few dangers, but uh, the one you really want to watch out for is the snakes. And uh, they'll be like, uh, is, that, is that some sort of gang? Is that some sort of, some sort of hostile gang of, 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 of people? They call themselves the snakes? That's a, that's a pretty sinister sounding... No, no, it's literally just snakes. It's literally just snakes. Um, so... Uh, so, uh, perfect second to see you all. Okay, well, thanks. Um, I don't suppose you know anything about killing skeleton ghosts. Yeah, I get that. Um, let's just click some things for a bit. Cool. Very interesting. The stars guide you well. Be at peace, good brother. I am at peace, don't you worry. I've never been more at peace in my life. I I only know peace, really. There's there's no drama here. I'm I'm perfectly content with the fact that I I have to fight the unkillable. The the eternal living undead. I mean what could possibly go wrong? You know what I mean? Having trouble loading now. There we go. Oh, it's say it always saves when you change area. That's good to know. Shame that that sewer was literally one giant area. <laughs> uh, I've got bonus points to spend. That's fun. We can get a bit more uh, more vitality, I suppose. Seems like a good good call at this point. Keep leveling up all over the place. It's a it's a hazard, really. Shit, that wasn't even enough to get one more level. Should probably invest in other things. Have we got any more skills? Uh, what's, some, what's some skills? B. Rune shield, rune speed, rune armor, rune strike. Just a lot of runes, really. Rune armor. <laughs> rune armor. Rune armor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm easily entertained. <laughs> so this, this shit increases my protection by 15%. This shit increases protection by 15%. But for me and allies. Well, I don't have any allies, so it's... Fucking useless to me, isn't it? I want room blast. That's what I want. 
I'm starting to think maybe he's immune to physical damage and I need to hit him with magical damage or something, but I'm, I'm a warrior. That's not really my forte, if I'm honest. I only really know hitting things. Maybe there's something in the room beyond. Hang on, let me, uh, let me go fast. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Gotta pick lock this thing while I'm getting shot in the back. Oh fuck, that's fast. I have just fucked that up. Let's try it again. Only this time we'll... Oh. Alright, I guess not then. I guess you only get one attempt. That, that makes sense. Look, he's green to me now. He's literally green. My magical sword didn't do anything. Um... Help. How do I kill you? Maybe I just keep swinging. Eventually something will happen. It certainly doesn't feel that way though. Can I, uh... Nope. Oh, hang on. I said I needed like a key or something. An item required for these things in the corner. Hmm. Hmm. Where am I going to get that item? Because I feel like they're, they're like his phylacteries or whatever. Got a plane. I feel like they're, they're what we need to deal with. We, we do those and then he becomes less invincible. It's one of those classic uh, confusing RPGs, isn't it, this one? One of the ones that doesn't make a great deal amount of sense until everything just suddenly falls into place. Hey, um, are you wanting to rent a room? Not really, to be honest. Uh, I was more interested to see if anyone in the inn happens to know anything about uh, fighting the undead. I was just curious. Of course it is. Uh, that's nice, Gilea. That's very nice. There was definitely someone in here I spoke to about something at one point in my previous playthrough. Like, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things firing off in my brain. There's a lot of synapses trying desperately to connect with one another and not quite being able to reach. Hey, you. Hey, I have five gold for real. Listen, I'll tell you my story. Months ago, my partner and I were traveling in the Northlands. We purchased a map from a wandering gypsy who said it would lead to an old dwarven mine full of gold. We then reached the map, but it wasn't a mine at all. It was an ancient tomb. My partner was well seasoned in surreptitious entry and soon we were tiptoeing inside when we saw it. They say it couldn't be killed, you know. Ah! I like the sound of this. But I'm getting ahead of the story. Anyway, my partner wasn't paying much attention to it all... As all the treasure in the world seemed to be glittering in the chamber before, his eyes were aglow with the sparkle of the jewels and he began stuffing the gems into his pockets as fast as he could grab them. When I turned to pick one up, that's when it got him. And that was that. I started running for my life and I've been running ever since. I swoop down from the rooftops. You can pick up a man and carry him whole. They feed on us, you know. One of them has been following me and ever since I fled the unholy tomb. I keep on the move by day and try to stay ahead. But by night, oh, the nights are unbearable. I start shaking and trembling and I can't stop because I know it's out there watching me and waiting. That's right, a vampire. No one believes me though, or no one will listen, so I keep running and my time is running out. Lord Davenmore has locked the gates of Fargrave, a mandate since his daughter went missing. That seems like a dumb way of getting his daughter back into the city, really, but never mind. I'm trapped here and I can't get out, and the vampire is here too. I can sense it. I think I've seen it out the corner of my eye, just as the sun goes down. It's always there waiting for it to take me. It's only a matter of time before he succeeds. I still have a stash of gold from the gem that I took out of that forsaken tomb. If you would hunt down the vampire, I would gladly give you every last coin. Think of it. Thousands in gold. Mm. All you must do is kill the vampire and uh, kill the vampire. I want proof that you have accomplished the task or won't receive a single piece. Do we have a deal? Sure. Why not? Hunt down the vampire in Fargrove, kill it, and... Uh, okay. Good. There was something special about you. I could see it in your eyes. I couldn't tell where the creature might be hiding other than I know it's somewhere in Fargrove. You're as good as you look. I'm sure you'll track it down in no time. Uh, I'll lay low and wait for you here until the dead the, the deed is done. And remember, don't forget to bring me proof or not give you a single piece of gold until I have any proof of blah, 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 blah. Okay. Interesting. I mean, that's that's clearly a different undead being. Um, Can I help you? Hey. Can I do for you? War. Lord Baron, uh, do this. Yeah, okay. Now I've got two. Now I've got two things to deal with. I've got, I've got two things. Can I drink your ale? Sure. Enjoy your drink. Okay, well, I did. Be seeing you, friend. That was, that was great. That's the best drink I've ever had. 
Uh, but that's that's by the by at the moment. Right now, I need to. Right now, I need to deal with these dog-sized rats. Apparently, but once these are out of my hair. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at our journal. Just have to hunt it down and kill it, but that doesn't really tell me much. I uh, I don't know how I did so well at this game before. I got quite far. I did a lot of things, and that was despite the game repeatedly crashing on me. I don't know how I managed it, because I'm, I'm struggling this time. I guess we just need to talk to more people. I think I saved you last last episode, to be honest, so you probably do know me, but not that well, I suppose. You look dangerous. Not dangerous, you're dangerous. Is there something down here? What's down here? Oh, it's like Chinatown. Or Japan Town. I don't know, it's something town. What's this place? The house of the dragon welcomes you, stranger. Ah. I was right all along. It is some sort of... Whoa, he's level 48. Give me your powers, level 48. Teach me the dragon. Way of the dragon is a spirit and some stuff. Are you prepared to travel? Sure, why not? Search the roosting grounds of the fire drakes west of Arendelle. Find a dragon egg. Okay, maybe this is uh, something I can't do just yet, but it's good to know about nonetheless. Oh, I've got so many, so many balls up in the air now. I'm like a pro juggler, except I... Can't catch or juggle or be pro. So, I mean, I'm not much like a pro juggler, but god damn it, I'm trying. Go away, I don't need any more friends. <laughs> Fuck you. Can't even walk through a tree. Why can't I walk through a tree? I deserve to be able to walk through a tree occasionally. Hey, look, you're like, like, you're like the source of all knowledge. Uh, good to see you again. Yeah, have you got any information on uh, anything I'm struggling with? Oh, you're fucking useless, aren't you? Stupid mages. Do you know what else is dangerous? A house containing some sort of lich. That's not a good place to be for anyone right now. And uh, apparently the head priest is kind of fucked in that direction right now. Feel sorry for the guy. Look. I hate to do this, but I need help. Give me a hint. What do the cards reveal for me? Your first card is the Lord of Stars. You're born destined for great things. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, now give me some actual something I can use, please. Your next card is the Prince of Death. Is an ill omen. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and the next card is the Nine of Stars. It signifies wealth and prosperity. Yeah. It's the one that tells me how to defeat the undead. This card signifies an obstacle or barrier of spiritual nature is occluding your present path. You're correct. Absolutely correct. What's the next card? Wizard of Wands. Go visit the Magic Emporium up the street. Something inside is going to offer you something and you do well to accept it. Uh, sure. I've, I've done that. The Knave of Swords. This card signifies that you possess special ability to defeat those who stand against you. This is your fortune. Okay. I mean... Is my fortune just to fight sewer rats for the rest of my life? I mean, it's a living. You know, I can I can fetch fetch a few gold for their tails. It's it's not really what I envisioned for myself when I set out to become a, a dungeon lord, but I guess I guess it could be worse. Let's go back to our magician friend. I, shut up. Let's go back to our magician friend again. Now that we've been told to go to our magician friend. Ugh. Hey. Good to see you again. Spirit Barrier. To my spirit Barrier is a pesky thing, to be sure. When the Mogans have trapped themselves in the privy for a week, to remove a Spirit Barrier, you need to dispel power mode. I can believe I can take one away from the village. Sure. Tell me what you... Spirit Barriers are pesky things. To remove a Spirit Barrier, you will need to invoke a spell. Yes. I haven't heard from him in years. Farewell. Maybe that's what I needed. Maybe that was what I needed. Where is it? Oh, okay, it's not like something I use, it's just like a key item I have. Maybe this is all I needed, though. Maybe that's going to solve all my problems. I, I really don't know. I definitely remember doing that previously. That's definitely something I invested in originally, and maybe I just didn't have this problem originally. Maybe I could just kill the guy because I had the Scroll of Spirit Barrier. 
I, I, I honestly don't know. Be quick about your citizen. Shut up. Why do guards have to be so fucking abrasive all the time? I don't know what I've ever done to them. Just because I'm running around the streets wielding a greatsword doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. Just because I've got a fucking Mad Max mask strapped to my face. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly reasonable. Alright, this time. This time for sure. We've definitely got this. Sword. Aha! Nope. Nothing. Not even a tickle. Item required still. Yep. The scroll of spirit barrier wasn't what we needed here. Hmm. Just. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I am baffled by this. So I'll tell you what. Here's my thoughts on the matter. I am fairly certain on my previous playthrough I went into the catacombs before I came here. I can't say that with 100% certainty. Also rats are, are rats. We're just going to have to deal with these real quick. But I think I might just have to follow in the footsteps of my ancestors. I think Fabuloso had it right all along. we we'll just have to vaguely recall what he did and just, just copy that, you know? And from what I recall, the catacombs were somewhere in this vicinity. I don't remember specifically where. I, th I thought they were near the church, but I was at the church or temple or whatever the fuck it is. No, because I've killed everything. That's why there's nothing to see here. If you were doing your job properly, there wouldn't be anything to see here. But unfortunately, it's always down to me, isn't it? Is it this? Is this the catacombs place? What do you mean a guard's work is never done? A guard's work's always done because I'm doing it for you. I have to click the rats to death. Me. I am the rat clicker. I am the one who clicks. Pick all. Right. I think I need to come through here. I need an item to get through there as well. What? what how do you do anything in this town? Entire world's locked off to me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh look, and now there's bats. Of course there's bats. Maybe we should go back to the noble district or whatever it was. See if we can get an audience with Lord Davenmore. I didn't think I could, but I'm, I'm fast running out of options here. I've been around, I've chatted to people, and uh, none of them have really offered me a solution to my problem. Unless a bat is a solution to your problem. People are offering me plenty of bats. Bats and rats and snakes, they're... They're really all there is to offer in this shithole of a town. How does anyone get anything done? You can't leave your home without getting accosted by giant angry creatures. Uh, there's nothing over here, is there? Before I, I give up on this zone completely? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. But, uh, I, I beg to differ. <laughs> there is most definitely something to see here. I'm intrigued what this is. Oh, this is the Arms of Argus. <laughs> definitely been here. Definitely been here. I can say that with utmost certainty. Down there's the Thieves Guild, I think. And then you've got your little courtyard, you've got your dragon place, you've got your wizard. You've got your inn in the middle here. Yeah, I guess we just need to 
recheck out this this upper area because I've I, I think I've exhausted all my other options to be honest. Unless paying the gold to see the the, the ogre is is the way to progress in this game. I don't know. It's possible, I suppose. Seems unlikely, but it's possible. Can't visit the parcel pa 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 the parcel without a fillish authorization. Your mind? Are you the vampire? Yeah, I'm. I'm new in town. Hmm. I thought so. You seem lonely. I tell you what, I could show you some sights. We could have a good time. Yeah, that sounds good. I thought so. Let's meet where we can be alone. This place isn't far from here. It's next to Custard Mansion. Do we have a date? Yeah, we have a date. Where's Custard Mansion? It's on the south side of Fargrove. I know it's nice what I think I remember this. I think this is the vampire. I'm pretty certain this is the vampire. Doesn't she have like a giant headless husband or something? I, I Custard Mansion definitely rings a bell. But these are the town gates. What's this one then? What's this place? Hey. Oh, this is the, the, the guy who recruits you into the Thieves Guild, I think? I don't really... I'm not really that interested, but I guess we, we can have a chat. Are you here to see that scoundrel Dillinger? Sure. Visiting fears 25 gold. Oh, this is the... the prison or whatever, and the, 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 the guy in prison is the one who recruits you into the Thieves Guild, I remember. Uh, no, thanks. I'm alright. I'm not that interested in Derlinger, to be honest. I guess we'll we'll follow up this uh, this vampire thing for want of anything better to do. Seems like the best option. I can't really be bothered killing you guys, to be honest. I'll leave the guards to it. On the south side? Whereabouts on the south side? There isn't a great deal of south side to really... Custard Mansion. A mansion of custard. Keep a watchful eye, young knave. Mm. I don't think it's here, is it? There's nothing here, aside from what I'm looking at right now. And hearing quite loudly in my ear hole. Um must be And this is another exit, right? Which in Yeah, I get that. I un I understand. I, I get that. You don't you don't have to. you really don't have to. Oh hello. Am I just a big dum dum? I think I'm just a big dum dum. I think uh, custard man is over here. Why would your surname be Custard? Unless you invented Custard. Are these the guys who invented Custard? Because it seems unlikely your name would be Custard otherwise, right? I guess, wasn't there a General No, that was, that was General Custer, right? Not not Custard. Slightly different. Close, though. Yeah, this, is, this has got to be Custard Manor. This place right here. Got to be. Uh, unless it was the Apothecary. Help! Help, I'm dumb. Help! I, I, I honestly don't know how I get through my day-to-day -day life. It's very difficult. It's very confusing being me. I'm not going to fight these bats. They can harass me all they like, but they can call themselves ravenous all they like. They can try and eat my flesh. I don't mind. It's fine. I, they're not really doing much to me, and I, I don't really get much for messing them up, so... I guess we can call that even <laughs> in some warped way. <laughs> Must be down here then. I mean, I thought this led to the Thieves Guild. But maybe you have to get into the Thieves Guild district. Hey. I don't know. Password. Let me in. Password. I don't know. Let me password. Spam, don't come back. <sighs> <sighs> I'm trying. I, need to get home where it's safe. I honestly am trying. It may not look like it. 
but I, I am I'm giving this my all right now. Alright. The one train of of investigation that I know for certain that I know how to follow is the Thieves Guild. So once again, we're trekking back through the city. These guys are still fighting these bandits. This is the most inept guards in the world. They can't deal with a couple of level 3 bandits. They shouldn't be guarding the city. That's all I can say. But, uh... I'm gonna speak to Derlinger. Take me to Derlinger. I'll pay the 25 gold. Whatever. Take me in. Derlinger's gonna hook us up with the Thieves Guild. We're gonna head into the Thieves Guild. I... I Starting to think Custard Manor might be over by the Thieves Guild. Where is he? There he is. Hey. Uh, opportunity. I do have a good opportunity for the right person, but I'm not sure you're ready for it yet. Can I trust you? Yes, you have no choice. Right. What choice do I have? Don't tell me one. I know someone in the Guild of Mystery. Who's the Guild of Mystery? The Guild of Mystery can teach you the Sif Morgus is the jailer. You know, skullduggery and subterfuge. The craft. Be seeing you. Alright, uh, I guess, uh... I guess I'm bailing him out. This is definitely a worthwhile use of my money. Yes, I have. I knew I could count on you. Well done. Psst, listen closely. Delia Irons runs the curio shop on the south side of Bar in the slums. She's also the contact for the Guild of Mystery. But don't tell anyone I took the curio shop has all kinds of stuff. Shh, keep it quiet. And once I'm out of jail, I'm leaving Fargrove. Be seeing you. It's very difficult to leave Fargrove, my friend. Be with you in a minute. I know, I know you think you're going to be leaving Fargrove as soon as you're out of jail, but honestly, Fargrove is nothing if not one giant jail. It's fucking impossible to get out of this shithole. Believe me, I have been trying for 38 minutes now. <laughs> this, uh, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some, there's gotta be some way I can, I can achieve something here. Let's just have a quick second glance at our journal. Mark of the Vampire. No, that's still hunting down the vampire. This is... Yeah, okay. No one is going to tell me how to get to the Custard Manor. All I can do is visit the slums at this point. And I guess... I guess that's better than walking around town for the 400th time. Hey. I thought... I thought bailing Derlinger out got... Let me get... I have no words. I have no words. What what the fuck do I do now? Every single avenue of investigation has failed me. I've I've been I've been everywhere. I've tried everything. Please just let me progress. See, the the truly sad thing is I've done this all once. This this is this is my retread. This is my second try. How how am I this stumped by a game I have already I almost said it already completed, but that's a straight up lie. But I've already got further than this. I've already done all of these quests in my log, except the one with the dragon eggs. I think that was that was still a bit beyond me, even in the fabuloso days. But we've got to solve this puzzle. We've got to, we've got to fix. We've got to fix this. Try this door again. Are you gonna let me? Not gonna let me pick, pick it. It's jammed. Can't bash it. All I can do is leave. All I can do is leave. How has Sierra Augustus? Well, I know how Sierra Augustus has been over. The, the level 31 priest has been overpowered by a level 7 fucking wizard. Because the level 7 is literally invincible. Ugh. There's gotta be something in here. I'm missing something here somehow. 
Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. 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 Okay, let me out. Let me out. I got a celestial candle. I got a celestial candle. I just mashed E near the boss and I, I plucked it out the air, apparently. I guess that was the solution all along. I guess I'm just a big dum dum. Can't spot a celestial candle when he sees one. Boy, what a nerd I am. Right. Let's use the celestial candle on hit. Let's use it on hit. Let's use it on hit. And let's use it on hit. Let's chug a potion. Okay, we can damage it, but I am also dying. So let's let's get the fuck out. <sighs> okay. Progress is being made. It only took 41 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you've had to sit through this with me. I'm, 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 I'm sorry that you've had to suffer alongside me. <sighs> this, this is the glory of old school games, I suppose. This is, this is what we come to these for. These ob obscure, obtuse puzzles and things that you need to, you need to take a moment to really understand. <laughs> And if that moment happens to stretch on for an entire episode of a Let's Play, then, uh, so be it, I suppose. Alright, got enough health back, our potion is off cooldown, we're gonna buff up, we're gonna go in, we're gonna fuck this dude up right and proper. Oh yes, yes, that is some damage. Yeah, you're sorry now, aren't you, Death Spectre? You're sorry now, yeah, fucking hell. I will... I would happily teabag this guy all day if only such a command existed in these primitive video games. I see ya. I'm sorry it took me so long to sort you out there. You might have lived if I hadn't done all this. Uh, thank you for saving me, Dread Spectre, which has tormented me so but alas, I fear it is nonetheless of my doom. Time is drawing near. Oh, if only if only you got here 40 minutes ago. Show summons from Augustus. Here, take this precious stone and keep it with you always. I will give you new life in the face of great dangers which lie ahead. Go to the temple, the temple of the Circene. These are my brothers, and they will be able to guide you, for alas, my own life is near the end. Okay, blah, 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 blah. You're going to die anytime soon. I've exhausted all your options, and you still seem fine. Fare thee well. My time is at end. I think your time is fine. I think you just want me out of your house, don't you? <laughs> I think that's all this is. Oh, I'm dying. Just leave me in peace. <laughs> Stop trying to pick my locks when I'm not looking. <laughs> well, hooray, I guess. I don't know where this custard mansion is. Still don't know why we can't get into the Thieves Guild. Still don't know so many, so many things. Still don't know why these bats won't leave me alone. <laughs> but... On the plus side, on the plus side, we've uh, actually achieved something at long last. I'm proud of the work we've done here today. Good to see you again. Um, sure, I'll, I'll join. Sure, I'll pay. Sure, I'll vow. I don't know what I just agreed to, but it's fine. Here's some questions for you. All right. Follow me to the Celestine. Okay. Take me. I can't wait to see the Celestine. That sounds super fun. Hey! Is this it? Ah, I remember you. With your plastic face. I think he's fine, honestly. I think he just doesn't want to come to work anymore. Um, let's actually get some plot, shall we? He didn't try very hard to find me. Like, we only crossed paths because I literally broke into his house. The star crystal bequeathed you by Sir Augustus is very rare and possesses the power of life itself. Mm -hmm. He might have used its power to save his own life, but his destiny was to sacrifice himself that this power should be yours. What a, a dumb fuck. Great belief in you. The star crystal you bear will bring you continued life should you fall to the grey forces now conspiring against you. 
But be warned, each life lost shall take from you a part of your past, and by so doing, rob you of some of its gains. Okay, I'll try not to die then. That's, that's fine. The star crystals absorb the celestial energies emanating from the stars and all heavenly things. Each different star crystal channels a uniquely ordained power, determined by the nature of the celestial forces it harbors. All right. It's a sign that the course of imminent doom surrounding the realm is not fixed, but it may yet be swayed. Through whatever miracles may exist, you are not destined to live an ordinary life. But only by your own determination can you make it not so. Seal Augustus gave his life to seek you out. Once again, didn't try very hard. An extraordinary path before you, pleasantly concealed in the chronicle of events soon to come. Ooh, I'm preordained and all that shit. You are guided by a unique configuration of the stars, and your destiny forks in many directions. I'm not gonna lie, I've never looked up in this game. Extraordinary path. I didn't know there were the stars. Few of all the multitudes of men born throughout the ages. Choose your path wisely, for as your destiny is uncertain and may be altered, it is still a mortal life you live. For now, I must direct your course to specific tasks as the forces of darkness draw nigh upon the realm. <laughs> I noticed you said choose your path wisely, and I immediately went to click on forces of darkness. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want to join those guys. Heralding great death and destruction. Oh no. They seek the ancient relics of power, artifacts of terrifying magical dominion. It was the wizard Goldwyn who gathered these artifacts. I've heard of him. want to safeguard them from the clutches of evil and hid them throughout the kingdom. If you are truly the one of the sign as Seal Augustus believes, you must undertake a critical challenge, a test of dire consequence to the realm. Honestly, honestly. A critical challenge to me is getting out of town. Like, <laughs> never mind all the challenges that await me beyond. I, I, I can't even leave the city right now. <laughs> Any help you could give with that would be super, super, super cool. Like, how do I get out of Fargrove? I don't care. Bold courage and convictions of its faithful lord now waning, for the fate of his daughter Elowen lies cloaked in shadow, a delicate link in this dire chain of progression. Honestly, great turmoil already exists in Fargrove. The, the city is run by bats, rats, and snakes. Like, <laughs> how, how can you defeat that? Uh, well, what's this critical challenge then? There we go! The relics of power lies concealed, hidden there by one sworn to safeguard the realm. I love relics of power. The of darkness have since detected its presence. And one of great evil now comes to retrieve it. All right. You must enter the catacombs to recover the relic, and thereafter keep it safe. Beware, for the evil has conjured his spirits to guard the catacombs, lest any attempt to recover the hidden relic before his arrival. She forgot to say this word. <laughs> she she missed a word. <laughs> That's fine. She tried her best. This key will open the cemetery. Thank you. That's all I wanted. I'll see you later. Piss off. <laughs> Thanks for the plot dump and everything, but I really just wanted to get into the catacombs. That was really my goal for today. And uh, I might have achieved it, you know, about half an hour later than I thought I was going to. But you know what? You know what? Victory is victory in my head. Oh. Hello. I like these skeleton models, to be fair. I like a lot of the models in this game. Like, yeah, it's an old game. I, I can't remember when it came out. Like, early to mid-2000s, I think. But, uh, a lot of the models are pretty cool. You know, for what they had to work with, they, they did a good job with them. Look at that. Like, World of Warcraft came out at a similar time, and the models in that look like trash compared to these. Even the modern, updated models in World of Warcraft look like trash. Uh, is this where we want to go? This is where we want to go. I've got my dead man hair. I'm, I'm raring to go. Whew, here we are. The Crypt of Fargrove. I remember this place causing me untold amounts of trouble. And uh, as such, I'm going to bail out and let future Joe deal with it. As I always do. Sorry this one took so long, <laughs> um, but here we are at last, and uh, next time on Joe Plays Dungeon Lords, we'll actually get to do some good old dungeoneering. 
That's what the game's named for, after all. I'll see you for that. Bye for now. <laughs> Look at him looking over his shoulder. <laughs> He's paranoid. Well, I, I am stood behind you at all times, dude. But that's fair. Anyway, I'm going. Bye. <laughs> I'm watching you, Fabio Dongo. Oh, oh shit, bats. Oh shit.